In this video, I am going to show how to fix the issue Realtek Audio Console cannot connect to RPC service. So let's get started. At first, make sure that you already have enabled Realtek service on startup. So search for task manager. The Realtek audio drivers control the audio operations of your computer. So, enabling the Realtek service is recommended. So, enable Realtek HD audio universal service. And then, enable Realtek audio universal service, press Windows button plus R at the same time and then type services dot ms now find out real tech audio universal service right click on this service and then open properties make sure that this service is running now reopen real tech audio console if this technique do not work for you run audio troubleshooter so open settings expand troubleshoot and then expand other troubleshooters now click on this run button of playing audio it may take a while now select an option i am going to select the first option then click on next ok now restart the computer if this method do not works for you update the real tech audio driver right click on start button and then open device manager now expand audio inputs and outputs select real tech audio right click and then update driver search automatically and also expand sound video and game controllers update drivers on by one and also expand software components update realtek audio universal service driver ok now reboot the computer if this method do not works for you then proceed with uninstalling the realtek drivers open device manager remove all realtek components under audio inputs and outputs software components sound video and game controllers by right clicking on the individual items one by one like updating and selecting uninstall device 
right click and then click on uninstall device one by one and then reboot the computer and install the latest Realtek audio driver from the system manufacturer's support site. You can download and install Realtek audio control universal app from Microsoft Store. After restarting the computer, open Realtek audio console. Here you will see the issue has been solved. That's it. If you like this video, like, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching this video.